words that read in the answer. Bring your heart and come along. You have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood from every tribe and tongue and people and nation and have made us into a kingdom, priest for our God. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, as we prepare ourselves in order to participate in the holy mysteries of Christ, let us recall our mistakes and sins and ask God's forgiveness and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, you my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have, have greatly, greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts, in my words, in, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, hope and light of the saints, we humbly entreat you to dispose our hearts, to offer you earthly prayer, and ever to exalt you by dutiful proclamation of your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostle. Now in these days, when the disciples were increasing in number, the Hellenists muttered against the Hebrews because their widows were neglected in the daily distribution. And the twelve summoned the body of the disciples and said, It is not right that we should give up preaching the word of God to serve tables. Therefore, brethren, pick out from among you seven men of good repute, full of the Spirit and of wisdom, whom we may appoint to this duty. But we will devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And when what they said pleased the whole multitude, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, and Philip, and Prochorus and Nicanor and Timon and Parmenas and Nicanas, a parcelate of Antioch. This they set before the apostles, and they prayed and laid their hands upon them. And the word of God increased, and the number of the disciples multiplied greatly in Jerusalem. And a great many of the priests were obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response shall be, May your love be upon us, O Lord. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. As we place all our hope in you. Ring out your joy to the Lord, O you just. For praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp. With a ten-stringed lute, sing him songs. Your response, May your love be upon us, O Lord. May your love be upon us, O Lord. As we place all our hope in you. As we place all our hope in you. 
For the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. Your response, may your love be upon us, O Lord, be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you, as we place all our hope in you. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love, to rescue their souls from the death, to keep them alive in famine. Your response, may your love be upon us, O Lord, may your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you, as we place all our hope in you. Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. Be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter six, verses sixteen to twenty-one. When evening came, the disciples went down to the shore of the sea. They got into a boat to make for Capernaum. It was now dark, and Jesus had not at come to them, but the sea was getting rough because the strong wind was blowing. They had rowed about five or six kilometers when they saw Jesus walking on the sea, and he was drawing near to the boat. They were frightened, but he said to them, It is I, do not be afraid. They were glad to take him into the boat. Immediately, the boat was at the shore to which they were going. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, in today's Gospel reading, we have a beautiful miraculous walking on the water by Jesus Christ. This miracle is an extension of the first paragraphs or the first verses of the chapter 6 that Jesus Christ multiplied bread and distributed to the people, those who were hungry. And you now the background of this, once they satisfied, they wanted Jesus to be the king. But Jesus did not want that political authority on this world because he is the creator. He is the king of the universe. Seeing into that crowd mentality, Jesus immediately sent away the disciples to the other side of the shore. He told them, get into the boat and go to the other side. And he himself withdrew from the people, went to the hillside to pray. Dear brothers and sisters, this is the best way to escape from the temptations. Jesus, when he understood that, Satan wanted to make him a political king. People also 
pressing on him to be the king for them to escape jesus went to the hill country hill sides to pray when we are in the time of temptations we need to escape from the situation don't try to be there and sometimes we think i am able to overcome the problem i can do it but we fail that situation it is better to seek the help of god that's what jesus is doing he sent away the disciples because disciples were also may be influenced by the thought that to make jesus as the king we know one of his disciples was influenced by that time political situations it is judas iscariot he wanted jesus to be the king like david to liberate them from the clutches of a roman emperor to bring them the freedom a physical freedom but jesus being the son of god wanted to give to the humanity a spiritual freedom a freedom from the sin freedom from all types of temptations freedom from all sorts of difficulties and jesus praying on the hill top sending the disciples away from there is another test for the disciples jesus want to see how much they are trusting in him whether they are able to grasp who jesus is really or not and they were about to reach other side and the gospel recorded and a big wind began a strong wind began to blow and they were disturbed and they are confused what to do in that situation and they were frightened the word of god tells we know dear brothers and sisters they are disciples previously they were mostly were fisher flock they know what is the sea they know what is the wind and they know when the cyclone or other like this sea becomes rough what to do but all their human intelligence human knowledge merely became no use and they became frightened and here what we need to examine what we need to catch is understand is jesus seeing from the mountain jesus knows that as they are going in the sea the wind will come the cyclone will come knowingly jesus told them to go dear brothers and sisters sometimes we understand that people those who disobey the god may have the problems disobedient children will undergo the sufferings troubles and temptations true but sometimes even the obedient children of god also may undergo the problems and the test that the same thing is happening to the disciples today they obeyed the word of jesus christ and began their journey in spite of obedience they came across the cyclone the problem the big wind as i said jesus is all knowing and all seeing we know in the 
book of genesis chapter 16 verse 13 the word of god tells there god i am the god who sees we are believing in a god a god who sees me hagar is telling the lord is seeing me seeing me and around me and within me god always sees the disposition of the heart dear brothers and sisters in the midst of the problems we think god abandon us or abandon me but it's not true god is seeing god is coming near to me and god is always with me we know the other name for jesus christ is emmanuel which means he is with us in all our problems in all our difficulties in all our struggles jesus is with us he is not gone away from the from us and we are in his presence it is only the realization it is only the faith and the belief we have is the criterion that the feeling of god's real presence with us today disciples were frightened and jesus began to come closer to them and jesus is walking on the water the same gospel the uh, passage st matthew recorded as they have seen and peter said lord if it is you allow me to walk and peter also walked but in st john's gospel that incident is not recorded as jesus was coming and disciples began to fear and tremble they thought it is a spirit walking but jesus said it is i it is i the word i is very authoritative it is the name of god on the burning bush event when moses asked god lord what is your name what i have tell to the people of israel and he said i am who i am i am always i have no past i have no future i am always present our god is present in all the situation of human life in all the troubles of human life that's why in the book of letter to second corinthians chapter 11 verse 11 st paul tells do you think that i don't love you people of corinth but god knows my heart god knows my heart dear brothers and sisters our god is all knowing all your behavior all the words all the dreams all the plans of your heart god is knowing let us be careful when we are planning out and also god is all knowing and god is all seeing our god is always seeing and knowing and today he is calling us to have that strong belief and the faith in him the people thought to make jesus as the king but jesus by walking on the water he wanted to manifest to the disciples he is more than a physical king he as having an authority over the creation creation he can walk on the water he can fly in the air 
He can do everything because he is the creator of the universe. Today, how much faith and belief do we have? Our faith and belief in his word, our trust in his word, when we have that strong belief in him, we also will say together with St. Thomas, St. John's Gospel, 2027, 20, it is read, My God, my all. When Jesus asked Thomas to put his finger in his wounds, his hand in his wounded heart, then Thomas had a God experience. My God, my all. Dear brothers and sisters, today, Jesus is inviting us to understand this strong faith. As the first reading tells us, all those who had this strong faith became the servants of God. Seven deacons are elected with strong faith and belief and good reason. Let us be servants of God. Let us be witness for God. Let us understand the gospel today to spread the mission of Jesus as love and peace. Let us pray for the needs of the church. Heavenly Father, we thank you for choosing us, our Francis, our Pope, all the cardinals and bishops, especially our bishop, Paul Anthony, and all the bishops. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we also thank you and praise you for uh, giving the call to be your servants. All the religious priests, religious sisters and all the priests and everyone, all those who are working for your mission. Give them good health, protect them Lord, anoint them with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we also pray for the people, those who are affected with virus corona, in this pandemic situation, in this troubled situation. Protect them, Lord. Touch them with your healing hand. Let all the human beings experience your healing touch. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us spend two few minutes in silence and pray for our personal needs. Summing up all our petitions, Lord, who knows, who sees, who understands all our needs, may grant us through Christ our Lord. Amen. your hands and offer to your God all that your life full of joy and care lift up your hands to the Lord lift up your eyes and see the works of God lift up your eyes to the glory of the Lord See all the beauty He has spread for you Lift up your eyes to the Lord Lift up your heart And to the heart of God Oh, for your love With this love to Eager is this to have the 
this gift from you Lift up your heart to the Lord Pray brethren that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and our good of all his holy church Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to love to you at more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the hills of heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For this, for his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life to all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Heaven and earth are full. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Sing, O Santa. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Amen. 
the mystery of faith. When they eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Paul Anthony, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us say the prayer taught by Christ, our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not God. worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word and my, my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
that I feel There is now dwelling me My God Sing my soul That the joy that I feel There is now dwelling me My God It is through you Lord that I am Every prayer Every thought of mine Comes from you Lord divine Sing my soul That the joy that I feel There is now dwell in me My God Lord it is your wish that I mean Oh my life show people around Now to love more and more Sing my soul And the joy that I feel There is now dwell in me My God It is to you Lord that I mean When I need my prayer Now to love more and more Sing my soul And the joy that I feel There is now dwell in me My God Christ our Lord was handed over to our transgressions and was raised again for our justification. Alleluia. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns, Forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The mercy is ended. Let us go and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Hail Holy Queen and throne above, O Maria. Hail gentle Mother full of love, O Maria. Hail Holy Queen and throne above, O Maria. Hail gentle mother full of love, O Maria. Great are all ye cherubim, sing with joy a cherubim. Heaven and earth resound a hymn, salve, salve. Salve Regi 